back to Hot 20. So excited she's making her CMT debut with us. Bring in the laughs. Awesome comedian, so funny. Lee Ann Morgan is here. I'm such a fan. You angel, thank you for having me. I'm a big fan of yours and your teeth. Thank you. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Listen, I, I discovered you like so many people did with the Netflix special. Let's take a look. But my husband and I met and I was so cute. And I was little, I had on little britches. And my thyroid was functioning. <laughs> and I felt good. And he was so enthralled with me and so in love with me and pursued me and bought me presents and, and vacuumed out my car <laughs> and did all kinds of things for me. And we celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary this year. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And now I truly believe he would not pull me out of a burning vehicle. <laughs> So funny, I thought, who is this woman? She's incredible. So uh, tell me about motherhood, uh, everything you cover, uh, uh, tiny little hateful panties as well. Uh, yes, my darling, I've talked about my panties a lot. You have a problem, and you have a, some opinions about panties. <laughs> I do. Help me understand as a guy. <laughs> My darling, my first tour was called the Big Panty Tour, and they asked me why I wanted to call it that, and I said, I just feel like I was talking about my panties a lot. And then I got to thinking, you know, through life, you know, I was in the 80s, I had little hateful panties, and then I had babies, and then I had big maternity panties, and it was hard for me to let those go, because they're comfortable, Cody. And then I went through where I was trying to get my bloom back in my 30s. Then I started going through perimenopause. Anyway, all these panties took on their own life. Uh -huh. And um, and that's why I named it that. I just feel like, you know, it was like a the album of my life, you know, for um, country music. <laughs> for my guy, panties. I think the other side of it is, like, I feel like tiny, hateful uh, pants. Like, like little pants. Like, I, I'm wearing a little elastic waistband right here. And it's, it's nice, right? A little athleisure. Yes, I love an athlete, my Chuck, darling. But your you, husband. Uh, but you've got a good metabolism. <laughs> Chuck does wear um, Costco underwear, which is then they look terrible. Right. Because he's a devoted man, you know, to me. Yeah. You know, if he were to get out here and get hip panties, then I would be worried, Cody. Yeah. I don't even know I went there, my darling. <laughs> You said you didn't ever expect that a 57-year-old grandma from Tennessee would ever have the kind of Netflix success you've had with I'm Every Woman. What, what's the magic to the show, and why do you think it kind of clicked? Oh, my darling. Well, first of all, yes, I never thought they would have a 57-year-old grandmama on Netflix, and then they took a chance on me. I think it clicked because I talk about real life. I've, li I've lived a real life, even though I've done comedy for over 20 years. I've raised my children. And I've really lived all of that, and now I'm able to tell that to a bigger audience on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Have you ever? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's crazy. We have some panties. I don't want to scare you, or, or <laughs> frankly, me. Uh, coming up, some panties straight ahead. I'll explain, I promise. Back to the countdown now. <laughs> 